All right, so there's this um, radio station, Virgin uh, Radio, uh, in Toronto. And uh, they have this program called Ghosted, right? Every so often, you get some really, really interesting stories. This one actually tilted me. I was driving uh, on my way to a job site, and I heard this, and I was like, this puta is the exact reason why men don't want to marry or date. This puta is the exact reason why guys don't want to be nice guys anymore. I, By the way, I'm not blaming her only. I am also blaming the guy. He did not... He came out as the good guy, but he was not, uh, in a sense, rectified. It wasn't like... I would have done way worse things to this chick. Not like physically. The way she technically took advantage of this guy. Bro, I would have thrown her shit to the street. Anyways, let's let's go over this. I'm not going to interrupt this too much. I want you to hear the whole thing. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts. I'm going to try not to interrupt. Why did you never text her back? What That's happened? hard. Oh, ghosted. Are you ready for the truth? Yeah, let's I go. Am. Let's welcome Vanessa to Yay. Ghosted. Hi, Yay. Vanessa. Hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad I got through. Oh Where have you been to? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just wanted to know why you yeah. Why are I mean, you I here? I feel like you guys get so many requests. Why are you here? Yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. 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 So, like, so, like. So, uh, let's talk. <laughs> why are you here? Yeah. So, like, yeah. Um, so, I'm having this issue. Like, Will will not get back to me. Okay. Will, and explain. Will, so, Will is the guy here. Because we're, we're, <laughs> you're talking, you so we him. all yeah. know Will. Yeah. We don't know him. Yeah, so. yeah that's classic right. Will. Right? <laughs> yeah, what a Will. So busy. <laughs> He's someone that right, we presume is. Okay. All right. Well, you go ahead. So, so Vanessa, <laughs> how did you and Will meet? What happened? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. So, um, sorry. I, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Will is this guy. And I've been talking to him. We've, we've been seeing each other. And we met at Veld in July. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he's from Montreal. But he came in for the show. And um, we talked every day since. And he actually flew me out to visit him in August. Mm, fancy. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, but he's been kind of weird lately. Mm. Um. Like, he hasn't been the same since I got back, and mm -hmm. it's been really annoying. Like, get back to me. Okay. Like, get back to you in terms of, like, he's not responding to your message or your calls or anything like that? Yeah, like, he's been... I mean, it's weird, right? Like, I thought everything was great. Like, I don't understand, like, what his issue is. Okay, so you flew over there, and then when you came back, you haven't really heard from him. So clearly something happened over there. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well... Nothing, like nothing but fun. I mean, I don't get him. Maybe yeah. that was the deal, was like just a fun weekend, nothing summer romance fun. kind of thing? Yeah. Or were you guys planning to chat more? Figured we were planning yeah. to chat okay. more. Okay. Like, I don't understand why somebody would fly me all the way over there and then not get Now, right now, Will sounds like the bad guy, but oh man, the twist. Get back to me. Okay. That seems really hot and cold. Yeah, no, that's fair. Okay, so why don't we do... It's like, I didn't even expect this when they talked to him. Like, oh my God, bro. We do this. We're going to give him a call and we'll see... The audacity. Uh, ...where this goes, okay? We're going to just play a song. We'll get back to it. Virgin Mornings. Why did you never text her back? What happened? Oh, um, ghosted. Are you ready for the truth? I am. So if you're just catching up, meet Vanessa. When Vanessa talks, you get out of Vanessa's way. Yes, right. right. <laughs> Vanessa's got yes, a story. Right. So, she, Vanessa, the deal is you meet Will at Veld. He's from Montreal, and he flies you out there. Yeah. Yeah. And now, all of a sudden, he is just not responding to me, which all is not okay. Uh, so, um, we're going to call him, and we're going to see what's up. And I think we should just do it now. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. But no, is Vanessa ready? I know you're yes. ready. Been ready. <laughs> Been ready. Vanessa. Yeah, let's go. All right, cool. All right. Yeah. Let's give him a call. Hello? Hello? Hi, is this Hello. Will? Will? What? Oh, hey, yeah. Yeah, this is Will. Hi. Uh, what's up, is this? It's Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax from a radio station in Toronto uh, called Virgin <laughs> Radio. Hi. 
Okay. Wow. Long, uh, long distance call. Uh, well, to yeah. what do I owe this pleasure? Uh, we want to know why you won't get back to Vanessa. To Vanessa. Vanessa. Oh God. Um, <laughs> uh, well, uh, Vanessa got what she wanted. Um, yeah, I'm not. I, to be honest, I'm not sure why she's even still trying to connect with me. What did she want? Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, you'd have to ask Vanessa. I mean, she planned the whole thing, so she's the person to ask. <laughs> what? Can you just elaborate? We don't quite know what you mean. It seems like we're, yeah. we're talking in circles here. I met Vanessa at Veld a couple of months ago. She was really cool. Uh, she was really excited about me living in Montreal, and mm-hmm. I thought it was cute. I thought she was cute, yeah. and we kept in contact pretty much every day since. Um, and she would mention at least once a day how much she wanted to see me in person and that she's never been to Montreal before. And so she also began planning out the day. She was going to take off work. And I mean, eventually, you know, I get the hint and I asked if I could fly her out to be with me. And she agreed. And that is when I saw the real Vanessa. And what, what did the real Vanessa entail? (laughs) Well, I mean, okay, first day she gets in, I take her from the airport, and she immediately asked to eat at this very specific restaurant in Old Montreal for dinner. And I thought, okay, cool. I mean, it's probably going to short of that area anyway. I guess she knows about this particular restaurant. So yeah. It's yeah. beautiful down there. We get yeah. there. Yeah, you know, and, and so we get there, and her friend who lives across the street from this place meets us there, and Love we it. all eat together. And so I'm now sitting there, you know, watching the two of them reminisce about old times and whatever, which, which again is not like a... I don't even know if the friend was a male or female. Big deal. And, like, I get it. Like, you're here for a, a quick trip and you want to see... I'm yeah. assuming it was a female. But I, I definitely felt a little bit like a third wheel, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And, I get that. Um, but then the thing is, like, the bill comes and nobody reaches for it. Mm-hmm. And so <laughs> I do. You know, and, and still, again, not... A huge issue. I'm happy she's enjoying herself. Fine. Not a huge issue, but a definite big red flag. But then I take her to my place to get settled, and as soon as she puts down her bag, she opens them up and she starts like picking out clothes to go party in for that night. And I ask where she wants to go. She tells me that she's meeting up with another friend on St. Mm. Catherine. And when I ask if she even wanted me to join, she shrugged and was like, "Well, if you want." <laughs> okay, yeah, so you, yeah, yeah. Hold on, oh, hold on, no, that's mm. not even true. Mm. Like, oh, God. Oh. Like, yeah, she's been on the phone this whole time. We didn't, we, we neglected to mention, but. Yeah, mm. well, you're really making me look bad, which is not fair. Well, can you correct I, his story okay. then? Because we'd like to hear oh, your side God, of it, bro. Yeah, so, Virgin, she doesn't um, correct what them. actually was said was, if you want to come, you can. And I meant it. This is the reason you can't be nice guy to girls, bro. Oh my god, this fucking puta. I like I didn't want to force him to come out if he just doesn't want to. And like <laughs> I was trying idiot. to be considerate. <laughs> so what you wait? That is your version of being considerate. I, I wanted to spend oh, time god. with you, not you and all your friends at a club. Well you should have been more clear when you brought me the oh, ticket. No. Uh... <sighs> you like I like. I don't know if this girl's like she's probably as dense as that paladin from the forum post. <laughs> it's like what the fuck? How can you be more direct aside from spelling it out for the person? It's like oh yeah, I'm gonna buy you a ticket to Montreal so you can hang out with your friends. Are you fucking dumb? Uh, <sighs> so, oh my did God. you guys spend any time together? I Just mean, the two of you. I, look, that night I just went to bed. And not my bed either. I was a mm-hmm. gentleman. I slept on the couch so she yeah. could have the room. Sectional or what? <laughs> what are we dealing with? What? No, not as a no, just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um and and but then the next morning, you know, she planned breakfast with the same group of people she was with mm-hmm. at the club. Once again she she's barely inviting me. You know, I'm I'm I feel like I'm tagging along. And then she was up the entire day with them. So at that point yeah. I gave up and to be real honest, I was counting down the minutes until I could drive her back to the airport. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here's the thing. That's super yeah. rude. That's super rude. So you're allowed rude. to do whatever you want. That is that is true. You're not bound to him, but you also uh, need to communicate and also just maybe like oh tell him God, what's going bro. on. Vanessa, you said it was rude. Yeah, it's not 
not my fault that he had expectations for this trip. One well, like, idiot. We barely okay. know each other. Yeah. I mean, what yeah. did you really? You barely know each other, but you expect uh, you accepted a freaking ticket to Montreal to sp to live with him for a day. Expect from me? Like, were you expecting something else when I got there? Well, no, no, it's it's not that. I was expecting time with you, and and honestly, if yeah. we barely knew each other, why did you accept this yep. flight? And why are you calling me now? I don't I don't understand. You you were completely not interested yeah. and then now all of a sudden you are yeah well because okay, you look, supply her free tickets bro i was offered a flight to montreal and i am going to take that flight like i called you because you know i liked you and i didn't have any expectations for that trip oh and my God. i actually had fun but well, you yeah, also didn't call me friends. you were upset so like all of this is news to me. Next time you have to be more clear. To be a look, I, I, I don't want to be rude, but I you are <laughs> unbelievable. Like, it doesn't sound to me, you off, were offered a flight to Montreal, you're going to take the flight. It sounds like you took advantage of me yeah. and uh, my interruption. Straight up. So, advantage so, of you. Advantage of you. Yeah, yeah, you Hello. did. Because you took, you, uh, took advantage of, of obviously, oh, I think this is going to be like a date trip, and I think we're going to spend time together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. More. obviously. And this uh, isn't going to be, hey, what else would this it guy's going to suddenly pay for a trip to Montreal to go and hang out with all of my friends. And so I, I feel like the lack of communication was on your part. And, well, frankly, to think that there could be a next time, I, I, I think it just proves my point that, honestly, you're delusional. So, <laughs> okay, I mean, look, okay, okay. To, to think yeah, I accommodated you through this entire trip, it, to say it out loud makes me even more mad. Yeah, 100%, anyway, bro. I, Understandable. I think I get my point across. Yeah. <sighs> Can I go now? Yeah. 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 You can do whatever you want. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what other kids? Bro, this girl, first of all, doesn't even still doesn't even understand what that she's so fucked up. She expects people to just buy her fucking flights. Like, oh my god. Let me tell you what I would do. If I pick this girl up, right? Thank god I don't hang around idiots like that. Oh man, fuck, I need to like calm down for a second. Girls like this just fucking like not a violent man, but fuck <laughs> the the demons are coming out. Okay, so it's true. She doesn't have to give him sex for flying her out. Sure. Yeah, I'll we'll, we'll agree with that. However, <laughs> I fly you out to Montreal. First thing you do is bring a friend. Which, by the way, I didn't even say it was a male or female. I'm assuming it was a female because they, neither of them reached for the ticket. Unless it was a guy and she's like, oh, yeah, don't worry. Will will pay anyways. Unless that was the case. But, like, bro. If I, if I was the friend, I would still pay for myself. So, like, I can't imagine it being a guy does doing that. Cucking this guy that hard. Okay? <laughs> it's not even cucking, but it's, like, taking advantage of another dude like that. A, a dude to a dude... Out of respect, I would pay the, uh, my share at the very bare minimum, if not, like, pay the bill. Anyways. Once she gets to the apartment and changes, like, oh, yeah, I'm going out with all my friends today to a club. Like, oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. And you're like, do you want to instead maybe j hang out just the two of us? It's like, no, I want to hang out with friends. All right, no worries. It's like, uh, are you going to come along? It's like, no, it's fine. I'll just... I had a busy day, I'll go to sleep. Bro, as soon as she leaves, take all of her shit, throw it out on the street, lock the door, go to sleep, have the best fucking night of my life sleeping. Straight up. This bitch does not deserve a moment of your attention once she does that shit. Throw her shit out, done. You, She no longer exists, go find your own way back to Toronto. Obviously, the ticket is probably like two-way. Yeah, like this girl... Control I'll delete her. She doesn't exist anymore. Fuck bitches like that, man. Not worth your time. Fucking bitch. Straight up. And the worst part is she doesn't even understand. At least she doesn't admit that she understands that she took advantage of a nice guy. Will is the reason no one wants to be a nice guy anymore. Sorry, Will is the example of how a nice guy turns into a, a an asshole. 
Vanessa is the reason why uh, people like Will, Will don't want to be nice guys anymore because bitches like this, and I can't even hold myself back, bitches like this, straight up, 100% super entitled fucking bitch thinks that she deserves that any attention from from nice guys. Fuck that slut. <laughs> <laughs> that's the video man i dude like i'm getting like fucking like heated up holy shit man. i'm like fucking like sweating here oh my god she she pisses me off so much girls like that i don't know why it just hits close to home like this is the type of girls i'm like you would walk out of the conversation with and you're gonna be trying to break a cement wall with your fist that's what the, the how annoying these type of girls are of course you won't do that because you're gonna break your fist so you're obviously not gonna punch the wall but yeah anyways that's the video tell me what you think in the comments below maybe will was in the wrong kind of doubt it uh and if you think will was in the wrong fuck you too <laughs> anyways that's the video peace out